Hey, the Fonz here from Gorilla Grunts, coming at you from behind the red visor. Today's trip, we will be going from Gay Perry to the hot Latin nights of Havana. So hop on the back and get ready for the ride. Oh, springtime in Paris. Paris, Arkansas, that is. This little town bills itself as the gateway to Mount Magazine. Well, our destination today is Havana, also Arkansas. And that mountain stands between us and our destination. They say the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Lucky for us, it's anything but straight. Now, MotorcycleRoads.com lists this as the 29th best ride in the state of Arkansas, 29th out of 38. I thought it would be a little bit better than that because you see a lot of bikes ride it, mainly because Mount Magazine is the, it has Signal Hill on top of it, which is the highest point in Arkansas. You'll see a lot of people say it's the tallest point or the highest point between the Rockies and the Appalachians. That's actually not true. There are points in Texas, Oklahoma, Nebraska, North, uh, North Dakota, South Dakota, and even flat Kansas, as it slowly slopes its way towards the Rocky Mountains, has points higher than Mount Magazine. Then Arkansas natives will tell you, well, it's the highest vertical point. Well, that's not true. Yeah, I believe there's a mountain down in Mena, Arkansas, that's, it starts out at a lower elevation and rises up. So it has a more of a vertical climb. But uh, it is still the highest point in Arkansas, so that's something to hang your hat on. And it's funny, is it's not actually even called Mount Magazine. Now, if you'll look at the state parks and all that, that's what they list it as. But the National Geographic Society, you know, the big dogs, it's actually referred to as Magazine Mountain, where a mount's supposed to be a peak or a point 
and a mountain is based off a ridge. They have guidelines. So the official federal name is Magazine Mountain, but you'll notice that everywhere around here is Mount Magazine. When we get to the top, we're going to take a little detour off of uh, MotorcycleRoads.com's preferred route because they did kind of a straight up, straight down type thing. We're actually going to take a little tour of the park, make a loop, get you a little views of off the mountain. And since this is a nice day, we may actually pull over and see a few of the overlooks get you a lay of the land as it is. The climb up to the mountain from Paris to the top of the mountain, it's a, ni it's a nice drive. That's really what you can say. It's got some good curves, good elevation changes. But coming down the other side, now well, that's the butt clincher. It's now steep for a road and switchbacks. That's the one where the super bikes will really have fun. All right, here we go. Highway 309, Mount Magazine State Park, 16 miles. That's just to the top. Now there's, we passed by a lake called Cove Lake. Uh, there's one right over there but that's Paris Lake, that's the reservoir for the city of Paris. But Cove Lake, very beautiful. Not extremely large, but very beautiful. And one of the overlooks you can actually see, if you can see it today, uh, Blue Mountain Lake. So we have a couple things to look at today. Uh, down there, not much, but it's the city of Paris. I always thought they ought to put an overlook right here, but I guess I must have been asleep that day they had that board meeting. I don't know if you could see it, but a butterfly just crossed in front of me. Every year they have an annual butterfly festival. The Monarch Butterfly. I guess they're migrate. During their migratory pattern, they stop here at Mount Magazine. It's a large congregation of them every year, and they based it a festival off of it. Hey, any reason to throw a little party? See nice valley. You see a lot of touring bikes come through here. I don't want to say a lot of the older folks just out for a nice drive, but you know the big bikes, gold wings and such. This is really just a good ride for them. Especially if you want to take the time and Figuratively, stop and smell the flowers. Let me get around this car here before we hit the no passing lane. That truck's going to hose me. Now I'll jump around them.
good little set of curves. As I said, Signal Hill is the highest point. You can't drive there. You can drive close to it, and it's about a maybe a quarter mile walk up the hill to the top. They have a monument up there. What it is is a big mosaic on the ground, and it's shaped like the state of Arkansas. And I believe each rock is sort of representative of each of the counties of Arkansas. And it's not flat. It undulates. So you see the ridges of the Ozark Mountains and the Wachita Mountains, and they got a basically a seam running through it for the Arkansas River, running between the two mountain ranges. And it actually swells, and there's a U.S. Geological Survey marker right at the point on the map where it is in the real world. One of these days I'm going to have to bring a couple more of my fellow gorilla grunts up here and we'll take a tour of it and film it for you. This fella got boards. Yep, and cement. gravel in the corner there. I don't know if you can see it, but the sign back here, it's one of those adopt the highway. The next one mile is adopted by, and it's a family. And it has about four names, and then the last name. And the first couple are kids, and the last one's the husband. I actually know him. But the woman's name has been painted out. Yeah, that does not bode well. Funny, but doesn't bode well. Narrow bridge, half a mile. It's still two lanes. But this little drop off right here, you got a parking area 1,500 feet. This little drop off area right here is one of my favorites. Not the sharp turn, not the drop off, but just a second, you'll see a really nice view. There you go, there's Cove Lake. Little spillway for it right there. There's the lake itself. Uh, as far as camping and amenities, there's not a lot there, but there used to be a lot of boating. Old Mad Dog is a mad fisherman, but he hasn't come down here. I'm going to have to get him a little kayak or a little scamp so he can run around here and do some fishing. At least take a tour so you can see what's there, what's what. No attendant on duty. We'll head down towards the lake area. I think that just walks around to a little campsite like that. They have cabins. Oh, good Lord. My bathroom's bigger than that cabin, but what the hey? I'm not sure if that car had a flat tire or they just realized it was a piece of crap and abandoned it. Looks like they got a couple fishermen out today. 
one of them getting his boat out of the water. There's the other one. There's the lake. Little swimming area right there. making fun of those cabins. They may be small, but better than sleeping in the dirt. Good Lord. I got about eight four-wheelers, or six ATVs on the trailer. A couple more sitting there. Somebody else bringing one in. I believe there are some ATV trails up on Mount Magazine. Actually, I'm almost positive they are. The more famous ones are on down at Mena. Wolfpin Gap, I believe, is the biggest one down there. All right, back on the designated trail. You can tell it's early spring. The higher we go, our leaves are thinning out. I used to know a girl that lived around here, just past Cove Lake. Went to visit her one day, and she was talking about the house she lived in. She said the previous owners, a woman had shot and killed her husband in the house. I sat in a little armchair. She told me to get up. She moved the armchair out. Behind it, there was a hole in the wall and blood stain on the floor. Yeah, we met in town from then on. Hey, this guy looks familiar. Here we are at the big town of Corley. I'll go around this fella here in just a second, hopefully. Are coming. After that, I'm gone. All right, I'm gone. It's a little gas station, diner, the Cove Creek Supply Company. 
They've actually got pretty good food. So if you want to make a day of spending time up on the mountain and don't want to run all the way back down to Paris to get something to eat, that's a good place. Now Spring Lake is down there, down that road that we just passed. I'm pointing off camera so like you can see that. But anyway, that's a good drive down the dirt road. That sign doesn't tell you how far, but it's it's got to be 15 miles or more down dirt roads. At this point, you ought to be able to watch that elevation climb. Temperatures dropped a little bit since we started. Well, since we started climbing. we have our first let's see if they still call it a scenic outlook yeah scenic overlook I wish they'd actually cut down some of the trees down there so you can see a little further but get you a look at it ah, I can get ahead get ahead of that truck there I don't have to pass him for a third time. And that's looking out towards the north, I believe. Oh, there's another one a thousand foot away. Oh, with some more bikers here. So I'm just going to pull in here and take a look. Nice little view out towards the south. All right. Work my way back ahead of that. Now, you watch when I upload this and put the gauges on it. I'm probably not even close to looking in the right direction. I'm assuming that was north and south. If 
I'm like really far off, I may just remove the gauge, the compass. Mount Magazine State Park. That's where the sign is, but I think we've actually been in it a lot longer than that. Boy, it's like Winnie the Pooh and the blustery day up here. Oh, bother. Now right there you have the gift shop, rangers, station, what have you. Now normally we'd go straight, and that's the way the uh, MotorcycleRoads.com has it right there to take you down to Havana. But we're going to take this little detour and see a little bit more of the park and the, the mountain. Again, a little bit later in the spring, it'd probably be a little bit prettier to have the trees bloomed out. But you can ride, you ride. my camera's angled just a little bit high. Don't want you looking at nothing but sky. Elevation 2,500 feet. I believe it. I don't believe they have any reason to lie to me. You know, that was the way I was going to go, but I don't feel like following her, so we'll go the opposite way of this loop. And right there is the trailhead that will take you up to Signal Hill, 20, uh, 2,530 feet above sea level. A hang gliding launch site, is what that sign said. Now here you got some cabins over to my left. You got some cabins and the uh, lodge. But it looks like a bunch of uh, Mennonites hanging out there. Pretty good sized lodge. And I know from the lodge you have a real good view. I've driven down Highway 10 on the other side, on the left side of the mountain here. 
and you can see the lodge from there. So if you can see the lodge, the lodge can see you. the picnic area not the road I'm looking for though I believe this may be it Cameron Bluff Overlook Drive and Amphitheater this be it I'm glad I came this way this one way road a very pretty view. See the bluffs on that side? Down to the valley. More bluffs on the right. It's actually, you can go all the way down there and I don't know if you can see it, you can stand a little overlook. Very pretty. <laughs> Fella just about lost his hat there. There we go. Okay. I believe this is the amphitheater. You can walk down. I believe this is the place. Yeah. Again, just nice views. Very nice. Pull over once more. What the heck? I actually had a friend get married right over there. As soon as I figure out what gear I'm in here. Well, that ain't neutral. There we go. Put the kickstand down. Walk over here and let you get a good view. Yeah, a friend of mine got married right over there overlook, looking at there. Come on down and you can check out the views. It says, what can you see from here? Sugarloaf Mountain, 45 miles. Yeah, a little foggy for that. Poto Mountain, 45 miles. Again, a little foggy. Charleston, 25 miles. Why in God's name would you want to see Charleston? What a pit hole. Uh, Horseshoe Mountain. Yeah, you see it a little bit. You see Short Mountain. Ozark, 25 miles. Nah, still a little hazy for that. Uh, Actually, even a little hazy. I got an itch. John, we know it's here. Pardon me, folks. Um, yeah, you can see a little bit of Paris out there, 10 miles away. Pretty neat little sign, though. Good view. All right, there's my photographer back. And he, I'd, I was really hoping he'd pull over and take some shots here so I could get ahead of him. But take what life gives you. Good, he gonna pull over. I'll get around him here. No, that may have been where my yeah, that was where my friend got married, right back here. Hope he don't ever watch this. Well, actually, I'll be okay. He'll be okay with it. I hope his wife never watches this. I can't remember where her wedding was at. I'm pretty sure she could take me.
right, we'll get out of this little loop here and we'll get back to our drive. Oh, another overlook. I hate to do this, but I'm driving through the grass. What can you see from here? Subiaco, Clarksville, what's well, a long way, 22 miles, Ozark Plateau, yeah you can see it's flat, and Lake Dardanelle, uh, barely see any Lake Dardanelle, good view though, uh, That's not an overlook, that's just a trailhead. All right, we'll head back towards the visitor center and get back on uh, MotorcycleRoad.com's number 29 of 38 best rides in Arkansas. I said I was going to, and I just took a wrong turn. I meant to do that. Yeah, this is where we were following the, uh, the first truck. You've seen this little section before, so feel free at this point to go get you a sandwich or something, but come right back. It's not long. And long as you're going to the fridge, give me something to drink. See, even the top of the mountain here, you've got some good curves. Good, I mean, you've got some tar snakes here on the road. But still a good ride. I'm actually surprised... This isn't ranked higher than 29 on MotorcycleRoads.com. I keep saying their name, not because I'm associated with them, with them or any way, but it's just a real helpful, you know, looking for a place to ride. I don't care what state you're in. They got a lot of roads, a lot of little rides that were, they seem to be, the rides were submitted by fellow riders. So... I'm a fan of them. Ah, here's where I meant to turn right and head down to Havana. See what old Castro has to say. That sign literally says bear crossing. Man, I would love to actually see a bear crossing right now. You know, from a distance. There's a bicyclist. It's a pretty good curve here, so I'm not going to get up in his business until we get past it here. And we'll come around him. All the respect in the world for you, buddy.
a lot of trailheads, picnic areas, hiking trails. There's a pull out right up here. Yeah, here it is. See this side of the mountain. This is actually one of my favorite pull outs. Now, watch that bicycle guy pass me. Danger, high cliff. Well, Cliff needs to lay off the drugs. I hate to think how many times that joke has been made. All right. We have some chicken houses right down there. That's yeah, more down there. More down there. And the road down there, right down there, is the one we'll be on in just a few minutes. Got a pond there. Let's see, Lake Darnell. Oh, here we go. Right over here. First of all, let's get a good scope of all this. Come on over this side. Lake Dardanelle, that's a good ride too. To get over to it. The Wachita Mountain Range, part of it, not even close to all of it. You can see it goes all the way as far as you can see in both directions. Nice view. Growing up, you always want to live you know, you have hometown pride, but you always want, if you live in the big city, you want to move to the country. If you live in the country, you want to move to the big city. I went through it too, but you can't argue. It's a beautiful state, or parts of it are beautiful. There's that biker fella. I'm going to go on around him here. Making pretty good time. I believe that's the last overlook of any real interest. Now we're into a 15 mile an hour curve, and that's just one of many we're fixing to come through here. So the sports bikes like this, it's not the best road in the world, a little rough, but make do. And again, if you're watching the elevation on my gauges, it ought to be dropping right now. Ought to be dropping quick. If you want to watch some of the view, be my guest, I'm going to be watching the road.
Get on your own side there, buddy. It's funny, I've driven that road, I hate to think how many times, in a car, it just makes me car sick, even when I'm driving, the constant swaying back and forth, I'm on the bike, man, it's just about as fun as it gets. Now, I like the big swinging corners, you know, that seem to be going around a corner for about a mile and a half. But sometimes these just quick switchbacks are fun too. And I believe that does it for the mountain. Now there's a sign telling us we're leaving Mount Magazine State Park.
again, here we are, Havana, population 375. And for those of you who thought I was going to Havana, Cuba, about the same percentage of the population in this town speak Spanish, so ain't that much different. All right, well, we're downtown Havana. That was number 29 of 38 on MotorcycleRoads.com's best rides and routes in Arkansas. It was Highway 309 from Paris to Havana. And we got a nice view of Mount Magazine. Uh, thank you for tuning